Okay, so as we wrap up uh, Tinkercad and you're getting ready to send your work to me, we want to get your, your things you want to print all into one space. So I have a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to print all of this, but let's say I want to take these uh, dumbbells and move them over to another print. It's very easy to do. Just select the shapes and copy them. Control C or this button. And now I'm going to go back. And here is my final work over here. I'm going to try to drop everything I need in here. So now I can paste, control V. Now they're in the same space as my hat and my wand. I want to print all this stuff out. So this is not ready to print. Everything's here, but it's just not going to print well the way that it is. There's a couple reasons why. First thing I'd like you to do is zoom all the way out with your work. A lot of you have stuff like this. Way in the distance, this is going to mess up your print any other objects that are, are out here. So zoom as far out as you can, take a look around. Anything that's out here, select it and press delete or backspace and get rid of anything from the outside. The next thing is make sure your work is centered and aligned when appropriate. So when I look at this hat over here and I kind of zoom in on it, I notice that this is not centered. How can I get it centered? Well, I'm going to select all of it. Um, if it's already grouped, you can ungroup it. And I want to take three seconds and just align it. Make sure you're holding it like this on a corner view. So you can see this black dot in the middle, this black dot in the middle. Now it's all stacked up neatly. Uh, then I can join it together. So check that for all your shapes. Make sure things are stacked up and centered when they need to be. Then we want to look at this, uh, a true side view. So most of you are in perspective view. Hit this button one time to change it to what's called a flat view and look at your objects from the side. This is another problem I run into. When you turn this around and look at it from the side, you're seeing that this is not touching the bottom of the surface. And that hat I was just working on is also, it's not touching. So when these print, this will just fall apart. It will not be one shape. So how can I fix it? I'm going to click on this, ungroup all the shapes, take this cylinder and push it down or hold control and down. Look at it from a side view again. Now it's touching. This one over here, it's not touching the blue surface. It's off by a little bit. So I'm going to go to a corner view like this, zoom in on the shape. I can rise this up and down. See on the bottom here, it shows you how tall it is off the surface, how far it is. Get it to say zero, or better yet, just click on this and tap zero. And it sticks it right onto the bottom surface. Now when I spin this around, it looks like all the shapes are touching and everything's on the bottom surface. Um, the sizes of things matter. I'll talk to you about this in another lesson too, but all these handheld shapes, 40, 20 by 29, 16 millimeters tall, anything in that like 15 to 40 range is a good like handheld size for a Madibot. Um, to make this print a little bit better, everything's kind of spread out. It'd be great if you can get uh, in a top view and get everything kind of compacted into the center. This makes it much easier to print. You just want to make sure nothing's touching. Nothing's overlapping. Get them, get them close, but just not touching and towards the center of this blue work area. The name matters too. It always has some kind of random generated word up here. You should change it to your first name and your class. And then 
This now looks like it's ready. It's all cleaned up, nothing weird outside. To get this uh, ready for Google Classroom to send to me, we're gonna export over here with this button. Choose the STL file. And it downloads your work. It should go on your screen over here. You should see a little Google Drive box pop up and it exports it and saves it into your Google Drive. And it's already named after your first name in 5S. Uh, now it's going to be ready to get sent to my Google Classroom.